Hey, we're two Star Wars nerds, and today we're talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi and A New Hope. All right, so um, one of my favorite characters, Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan Kenobi, awesome. and one of my favorite movies, A New Hope. I'm, I'm really excited about this. Um, you know, I think it's really interesting right off the bat how we see him as really kind of this like mystical hermit. Like you don't really know much about him. Mm-hmm. And then you progressively learn more about him than he's taken from you <laughs> right. by the end of the film. Um, and obviously in the full context of, you know, one through six and the Clone Wars and Rebels, you know, you get a lot more um, OB content, which is really great. Mm-hmm. But what we'll do for this video is just keep it super pared down to a new hope. And yeah, I'm I'm really excited about this. So uh, why don't you start us off with things that you love about Obi and A New Hope? I think my favorite scene of Obi-Wan in A New Hope is when him and Luke are talking in his house. He's talking about, you know, fighting with his father, with Luke's father mm-hmm. in the Clone Wars. It just, what I remember even just as a kid, like wanting to know more about that conversation, like it really intrigued me. Um, and then obviously one of my favorites is obviously the classic um, these aren't the droids you're looking for. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be, a, you know, a favorite for Obi Wan. Um, but I think those are my two favorites, and I really just like how um, the prequels built on them. Mm-hmm. Because with A New Hope, I loved Obi Wan, but there, like you said, there's this mystery, and uh, he was just kind of like a hermit. And you're like, wow, this guy's really cool. I want to know his backstory. Like A New Hope did such a good job at drawing you into this character, and like wanting you to develop like this like connection to him like you like this guy and then you know they went back and they read they not redid it they went back and they added to his story and flushed out so we could see more but i think the way a new hope introduced obi-wan was so cool and i think it was like the perfect introduction to his character because you're kind of just thrown in Mm -hmm. and then you're like wait what what happened here in the clone wars what you know where did he learn this jedi mind trick and all this crazy stuff um so yeah i think those are my two fit there's a lot of great obi-wan yeah. um things but i think those are my two favorite in a new home awesome and for me when when you're talking about it's like you kind of just get thrown in um it's like i've personally been digging into joseph campbell's the hero's journey um a lot more just the whole idea of the monomyth and looking at archetypes and mythology and how George Lucas integrated that. And Mm -hmm. um, what's cool is Luke Skywalker pretty much starts his hero's journey in A New Hope. Um, But what's interesting is I would argue that Obi-Wan really finishes Mm -hmm. his hero's journey in A New Hope. And that's why it's kind of jarring is because you're coming in right at the end of him transitioning full well into being a hero and passing along what he knows to Luke. And I love that George wasn't like, oh, we need to, you know, develop this character yeah. and start it from the beginning. I like how he's like, you guys just should know what the Clone Wars are and like just kind of... This um, is Obi-Wan. Yeah, this is Obi-Wan. <laughs> yeah. This is the guy. So I kind of love that too because it almost makes him more intriguing. Yeah, and, and I love how he kept Anakin's lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Um and passed it to his son and um that that was like you said just been dropping the clone wars Mm -hmm. and um granted that's a storytelling element too where you're like man that's like that's something really really interesting that i want to know more about yeah um but for me you know obviously i do like um the whole jedi mind trick like you see that and it's like wow that's pretty cool um but then i love when they go into the cantina and you really get this picture of he's been a hermit especially in context when you know everything Mm -hmm. he's been a hermit for a reason because he wants to protect luke at all costs and basically when roof uh roof (laughs) when luke is getting like rough house there we go uh, Mm -hmm. how he whips out his lightsaber and just dismembers someone right there and Mm -hmm. in the novelization he cuts someone in half and just the fact that he's like, no, we're getting you off this planet. We're, yeah. we're getting you really to your sister. We're mm-hmm. getting you to your family. We're taking down tyranny. Like mm-hmm. he, he sees um, what needs to be done. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I love that. And then obviously the, the whole scene on the Falcon mm-hmm. where he is just um, 
very, very quickly, <laughs> draining Luke in lightsaber combat. Mm -hmm. Kid, he's probably never used anything remotely close to a lightsaber. Right. And uh, just teaching him in that, teaching him in the Force. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I, I think we can't, we would be amiss, I guess, if we would just skip over the whole um, scene 38, the whole him fighting Vader. Mm -hmm this whole thing um that sacrifice yeah so for you kind of before we share kind of final thoughts on obi just near the the end of the movie mm -hmm. um his transition into the force but what are your thoughts on that scene with him and vader on the death star i think that's such a powerful scene and it's not one that i love because it's sad because i like obi-wan and yes i understand that he's with the force and he's mo more powerful and he can help luke like yeah i get that but like just sad uh, you know you like him. happy yeah I like happy <laughs> you're sensitive you're emotional and you like yeah. happy and that's okay yeah and um, but I, I do I do under I do think it's a good scene and I understand why he did it and it's just crazy to think like he knew what he had to do he knew what he was going to do and he just seemed so calm collected he didn't seem anxious or scared he just seemed so like one one with the force um mm -hmm. and he just let it happen he didn't like fight it and just that sacrifice of love so that he could help luke and i think honestly so that he can help um you know maybe he didn't know at the time but bring anakin back um mm -hmm. you know because he's he's part of that journey too so i think that's such a, a beautiful moment because that's one of the most that's the hardest thing someone can do is really sacrifice and it's the greatest example yeah. of love yeah and, and you know it it's such a great storytelling storytelling element too because like when you're watching it you're like what what just happened he just disappeared and his clothes are <laughs> behind and even vader's like uh what yeah, like <laughs> what just happened and i you know aside from that that little bit i find comical just because again george lucas just expects you to be like oh he's one with the force yep. i mean like no one knows what's going on like <laughs> only george and obi know what's going on right then um but you know i love sir alec guinness's uh, portrayal of obi-wan mm -hmm. i think he delivers his lines perfectly um, yeah that's that's a great way to describe perfect um wouldn't want anyone else playing obi-wan kenobi other than you and mcgregor yeah um, he's you know perfect too yeah yeah but uh what's what's really great about that scene for me is first just looking at just the context of when we were kids and all we saw was a new hope and mm -hmm. you know four five and six there was something just about like you felt the weight and the gravitas of the situation and you're like there's something really intense here and just their dialogue back and forth and you can tell it's too um, older, beaten, weathered men, you know, mm -hmm. fighting each other one last time. And um, like you said, that sacrifice is great. Um, but then to have him reappear as a force ghost, not as just like a thought or memory within Luke, but to actually speak from the force, mm -hmm. you know, that was really, really cool. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I think for a character like Obi-Wan in A New Hope is... I mean, honestly, I think it's brilliant mm -hmm. because he does play the role of the mystic. Mm -hmm. He does play the role of protector and teacher. And he does so in like two hours. Mm -hmm. And he forever marked cinema. He forever marked fantasy and sci-fi and Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, you know, like, like you had been saying, I don't remember if it was in this or just us talking Star Wars like we do all the time. But you said... Uh, like, it's really surprising that you just get thrown in and then remove a character like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you would think that's a bad way to tell a story. Right. Um, but it's not. You know, it, it was great. It makes you more invested in the story, honestly. Um, and I think another really cool thing I was just thinking about Obi-Wan is just even how he deals with, like, Han Solo. Like, with the smuggler and just how he handles mm -hmm. himself with every character. Like you said, he just slices the hand. He talks to Solo and, like the way he solo need to be talked to how he taught you know just how he interacted with everyone mm -hmm. um he wasn't changing who he was he knew who he was so when he came into contact with these people um he could handle himself really well he's a he's a great jedi he's mm -hmm. a diplomat he's like 
ah, you speak money I'll speak money right back yeah. to you you know uh, he's like you speak fear like I'm gonna speak faith to you that's the kind of mm-hmm. that's the kind of Jedi he was yeah um, but you know what let us know in the comments what you think about Obi-Wan Kenobi in a new hope um, I don't see how anybody could have anything but positivity yeah. um, but let us know like what's your favorite Obi-Wan Kenobi a new hope moment it's be really cool to talk about mm-hmm. um, as always join us in the discord subscribe hit the bell notification because we have pretty much a new video every single day in live streams all sorts of fun stuff mm-hmm. but with that we are two star wars nerds and may the force be with you always, always.